The Caledonian pine woods are home to many specialised insects found nowhere else in the UK. However, in the past the felling of larger trees for timber has caused significant changes in the structure of the forest. As a result, some management action is now required to ensure that all of these insects can survive until the woodlands can once again return to a more natural state. My name is Gabrielle Flynn and I'm the project officer for the rare invertebrates in the Cairngorms project. And I'm here trying to help one of the six species that this project is specialising on, the pine hoverfly. The pine hoverfly is one of the UK's most rare animals. Um, it's one that we're trying to desperately help and, and improve its populations. So it's a champion of ancient Caledonian pine woods, which is a, is a forest type that used to cover much of Scotland, but unfortunately is, is very fragmented now. Um, pine hoverfly has a really specific habitat need. So as a larva, so when it's growing, when it's, when it's young, it needs uh, uh, rot holes, which are usually found in big old trees. Um, but in quite young forests like this, we don't have those big old trees. Um, but what we can do is we can create some rot holes in stumps that have been created during the, the diversification process. Well, this is a, historically this is a plantation, this bit of woodland. It's not, it's not fully natural. So uh, trying to thin this bit of forest out to make it better for nature, to increase the biodiversity of the field layer. Well, first up was just a straight up normal fell of the tree, just get the tree onto the ground, and then the more complicated bit, if you want to say, is the, is the boring of the hole to create this, uh, this hole for, for a place for the larvae to live in. We'd prefer to have more of a mixed forest with more broadleaf trees as well. So, to take out a few Scots pine trees, not only are we helping the field layer of the forest be better, but it's also better for Blaira and for the woodland. So this site is close to the biggest fragment of Caledonian pine forest left in Scotland, which is a really, really important habitat for the pine hoverfly. The pine hoverfly is a rare species across the world. It's very rare in the UK, being only found in the Cairngorms National Park. The, the work that we're doing for the pine hoverfly, trying to use the opportunities of stumps and creating rot holes uh, and speeding up that process and giving them the habitat that they need, has proven so far quite successful. And we've found in the places that we've been creating this habitat, and the pine hoverfly have been using them, and, and many other species of hoverfly use them too. So they're beneficial for a whole range of animals that rely on deadwood. We put chips and sawdust into the hole as this, this allows um, nooks and crannies for the larva to hide in and then rain, rainwater falls into the hole and it creates ideal conditions with all that pine mush and all that rainwater and then bacteria will start to grow um, and then the larva will eat this bacteria and filter it and help them grow into big, big chunky larva um, until they can become adults. So we put the cap on the top of the stump um, as this recreates the more natural conditions that you would find in sort of old ancient trees where they wouldn't have too much of a big, big hole. And, the, and what that does is it means that there's not too much evaporation of the water during the summertime. And then in the winter, you don't get an overflow of water. So it just creates much more natural conditions and a sort of a smaller gap so that just the right amount of water is leaving and, and entering. So in order so we can monitor these stumps that we create, we put a tag on each of the stumps and then we take a grid reference um, and we keep a big database of where all these stumps are in the Cairngorms and what their grid references are. And then once a year we go out and we check and see whether they're being used by the, the hoverfly that we want to use them um, and then we can see whether it's working. And so far it looks like it's, it's doing a good job. The Rare Invertebrates in the Cairngorms project is a partnership project between RSPB, Bug Life, Butterfly Conservation, SNH and the Cairngorms National Park Authority. And it's funded through uh, the Scottish Government and the European Union via the Leader Fund. The six species involved in this project are Kentish Glory Moth, uh, Dark Bordered Beauty Moth, Northern Silver Stiletto Fly, Pine Hoverfly, Shining Guest Ant and Small Scabious Mining Bee. The project is working very, very closely with local volunteers as well. So we have volunteers from across the Cairngorms and even out with the Cairngorms who are giving up their time um, and dedicating that time to try and help these six really rare invertebrates um, and trying to sort of find where they are in the Cairngorms National Park. And the more we know about their distribution and, and the more we know about these species, the more we can do to help them and, and improve their population and their chances within the National Park. 
We desperately need more volunteers because the more people we have involved, the bigger impacts we can have and the better chance we have of protecting these species. The best way to get involved would be to find us on Facebook. So you can type in rare invertebrates in the Cairngorms onto Facebook and you'll find us.